in the eastern part of the Athos Peninsula, near Cape Akratos, in the hermit area of Igla, at an altitude of 250 meters above sea level, there is the Romanian Sket Prodromos. This is one of the most remote monasteries on the Holy Mountain. Then there are only cells, hovels and the Athos Desert, still undisturbed by roads. The Sket belongs to the monastery of the Great Lavra and is located at a distance of 4 kilometers from it. The appearance of the entire complex of buildings of the monastery resembles the classic Athos monastery of a quadrangular shape where the fraternal buildings and utility rooms serve simultaneously as the walls of the Sket, enclosing it from all sides. At the same time, unlike the old Greek monasteries, where the cells were located in the fortress walls at an impregnable height, there are windows on the first floor. It is obvious that these walls were built not for protection from enemies, but exclusively for the residence of monks. To get to the Sket, you must pass through the main gate, above which rises the bell tower. In the southern part of the monastery, there is a cell building. Such buildings in the early 20th century were often erected in many European capitals. The walls of the Sket, devoid of any architectural excesses, are whitewashed with lime and leave a feeling of amazing cleanliness. The Brotherhood of the Sket is very hospitable, and any pilgrim who reaches their monastery will always find shelter and overnight accommodation here. In the center of the courtyard, surrounded by slender cypresses, is the monastery church Catholicon, built in the neo-Byzantine style and dedicated to Saint John the Baptist. The first founders of the Romanian skate Prodromos are Metropolitan Veniamin Kostaki of Moldova and the venerable monk Justin Vlahul, who was a disciple of Saint Paisius of the Namt Monastery. Before coming to the Holy Mountain, he was the governor of the Namt Monastery, led a spiritual and hermit life. On Mount Athos he performed asceticism in the area of Vigla, where the skate Prodromos is now located. The Venerable Justin lived in a cell with his disciples Patapius and Gregory. With the assistance of Metropolitan Veniamin Kostaki of Moldova, they decided to build a skate in this area. Water was necessary to maintain the communal life. But all the insistent appeals of the Venerable Justin to the Great Lavra about the construction of a water pipeline from a nearby water source were refused each time. One summer, the gardens of the monastery of the Great Lavra were overrun by a myriad of locusts. The Venerable Fathers tried to expel the locusts that destroyed the harvest. They prayed, held a procession, but nothing helped. As a result, they turned to Saint Justin for help. Knowing about his deep spiritual life and hoping that he would help them with his prayers. And so it turned out, after performing the divine service in the Great Lavra, sprinkling the gardens and fields with holy water, the locusts immediately retreated into the sea. The locusts were defeated and since Justin was promised to fulfill any request, he asked for a water pipe to be laid to the place where he intended to build a sket. In 1817, Justin Vlahul fell asleep in the Lord. His disciples Patapius and Gregory continued the construction of the new sket. In 1820, they received approval from the monastery of the Great Lavra to convert the cell into the Sket Prodromos. However, the Sket did not last long. The Greek uprising of 1821 and the subsequent riots forced the monks Patapius and Gregory to leave the monastery, 
which was soon captured and looted by Turkish troops. După Tapie și Grigorie, cu actele care le-au cu aprobarea Lavrii, s-au întors la mănăstirea Neamț. Potapius and Gregory returned with permits from the Great Lavra to the Neamț Monastery. There in 1850 was Father Nifant, who often came to the country on his own business. ...pentru diferite feluri de trebuințe ale sale. Și în discuție cu starețul mănăstirii... In the conversation with the elder of the monastery, he told about his intention to establish a skate for Romanian monks in the region of Keresia. Acesta îi spuse că în biblioteca mănăstirii Neamț se află deja... To which the elder told him that the library of the Neamț monastery already had documents issued earlier by the great Lavra to fathers Potapios and Gregory. Metropolitan Sofrani of Yassi sent a petition for the foundation of the skate to the monastery of the Great Lavra, and the monk Nifon also requested their approval. In 1852, the Reverend Fathers Nifon and the Nectary received permission to convert the cell into a sket. Cuvioșii au primit, Cuvioșii Nifon și Nectarie, au primit aprobare de a transforma schitul. In 1852, the elders began to raise funds for the construction of a new monastery. In this, they were greatly supported by the Metropolitan of Moldova Sofroni and the Moldovan Prince Grigore Ghica, who gave a significant amount of money and approved the organization of donations among the faithful of Moldova. In 1856, after an appeal to the Patriarchate of Constantinople, the then ecumenical Patriarch Kirillos, by his decree, approved the foundation and functioning of the Moldavian Sket Prodromos. With the collected donations, the active construction of the monastery began. In 1857, the foundation of the Catholic on, the main church of the Skate where Sunday and festive services are held, was laid. In 1866, on the day of Saints Constantine and Elena, the church was consecrated by His Grace Isaiah Vicol. This event was attended by many believers from Moldavia and Wallachia, as well as the monks of the Holy Mountain. After the unification of the two principalities of Wallachia and Moldova in 1859, the skate became known as the Romanian skate, and in 1882 a treaty was signed between the skate and the monastery of the Great Lavra, which equalized the rights of Moldovans and Wallachians. By the end of the 19th century, the construction of the entire complex of the Sket was completed, consisting of several buildings that hide now the main temple of the Sket from all sides with their walls. Within these walls were arranged several other small churches, as well as monastic cells, a hotel for pilgrims, a refectory and a library. After the formation of the Greek state in 1924, his government confiscated and nationalized the land belonging to the Skate and Greece, as well as a large mid ocean on the Greek island of Thasos. And in 1945, all the real estate of the monastery in Romania was confiscated by the then ruling communist regime in the country. Being deprived of the means of support itself, the Skate began to deteriorate and become desolate, and by the middle of the 20th century, it had come to complete desolation. The restoration of the skate began in the 70s of the 20th century, when, after a long break, the first Romanian monks arrived, who found several helpless elders in the skate. In 1984, Hieromonk Petronius became the abbot of the skate Prodromos. The blessed elder enjoyed great authority on the holy mountain and was considered one of the true bearers of the holy mountain spirit. Adică toate sunt făcute cu rostul, cu socoteală, cu un scop, o rațiune. Everything created by God in our earth is made with deep feeling and meaning, and everything has a purpose. The root cause of all this is spirituality. The Lord did not create the human race just so that it could exist. He created it for a higher purpose. The Creator did not reveal to us the purpose and secrets of being, and even less about the infinite mystery of our existence. 
many things we do not need at the moment. We cannot understand the Holy Fathers and what happened on the day when the Savior was with the Holy Apostles. I can tell you a lot, but I don't want to tell you yet, because you won't understand it. The Savior told the people what was most important to them. My good people, you are not a weed. You are created in my image and likeness, and you are filled with the divine breath, and I have created for you and prepared for you a paradise, where you will be cleansed and feel an ineffable joy. A special pride of this kid is the Church of the Epiphany, which stands out for its beautiful interior painting, restored in 1998. He has kept the miraculous icon of the Most Holy Theotokos Prodromissa. Hiram on Knifland, while at the courtyard of the skate Prodromos in Yassi, asked the skilled and devout iconographer Iordek Nikolao to paint an icon of the Most Holy Theotokos with the infant Jesus. Initially, the work was easy, but when the artist began to paint the holy faces, he could not reproduce what he had planned. Invitându i la atelierul său din Iași, le arătă icoana, așa cum ajunsese, he invited Father Nifant and Father Nectary to his workshop in Yassi and showed them the icon. The Master and the Reverend Nifant and Nectarius were left a little disappointed not knowing what to do. But they thought that this icon could be given to some poor church, but still encouraged him to continue working on the faces. Lucreze la chipuri. Așa că nedumerit și desnădăjduit. Disappointed and puzzled, the icon painter covered the icon in the workshop, returned to his room and on his knees prayed to the Mother of God, asking her to help him complete the icon he had begun. Și în genunchi se rugă mai și Domnului ca să-l ajute să-i spravească cum se cuvine. Icoana pe care o începuse. Cu credință și cu mai multă râvnă, a doua zi se îndreptă către atelier. With deep faith and strong zeal, he went to the workshop the next day, hoping that he would be able to finish the icon that he had started. Dar o minune mare se arătă atunci. But a great miracle has happened. Opening the icon, he saw the faces of the Mother of God and Christ as we see them depicted today, without adding anything else. Since then, the miraculous icon of Prodromissa has become famous for many of its benefits. Despre această icoană avem o relatare de la anul 1821. We have the story of 1821 associated with the icon when it performed the miracle. The icon was located in the chapel named after her. Atunci când turci au năvălit în munte, when the Turks attacked the monasteries of the Holy Mountain to punish the Christians for their faith, a group of Turkish soldiers broke into this chapel in order to plunder and destroy it. Au năvălit și în micul paraclis, de aici, de la prodromul, pentru jaf, pentru a jefui și a distruge. Iar în momentul când au intrat și au început să tragă cu pistoalele, But at the moment when they entered and started shooting at the icon of the saint, the bullets returned back to those who fired. And then the icon frowned and remained as we see it today. Rămânând așa cum vedem astăzi.
Here is a fragment of the relics of Saint Antipas of Kalapodeshti, brought as a gift to the Sked by the abbot of the Vala monastery, Bishop Pankratios of Troitsk in 1998. Great were the prayerful exploits of Father Antipas on the holy Mount Athos in Moldavia and Russia. In 1992, Antipas of Kalapodeshti was canonized as a saint of the Romanian Orthodox Church. And in 2000, the name of Saint Antipas of Valaam was included in the church calendar of the Russian Orthodox Church. Father Antipas, named at birth Lukian Alexander Georgievich, was born in Moldova in the village of Kalapodeshti, Bakau country. Now it is the territory of Romania. Before his birth, his mother and father prayed the Lord to the Mother of God, because they had no children. It is said that the birth of Saint Antipas was due to a divine miracle, because during the birth, when the midwives came to help, the mother gave birth to him painlessly, and this was a miracle never seen before. And everyone prayed and worshipped the miracle, asking the question of what would happen to this child in later life. From early childhood, everyone understood that Alexander was very different from his peers. Sometimes they, struck by the manifestation of something wonderful and extraordinary in him, fell on their knees before him with fear and called him their Lord. Sometimes they scolded and beat him for his simple antics. When he was still a young man, he went with friends to the forest surrounding this area. He took venomous snakes in his hands and they did not bite him. And everyone was amazed that this wonderful child was not afraid of these venomous creatures. At the age of 20, he asked for his mother's blessing to enter a monastery. He chose the Nant Monastery. It is not known whether it was the will of God, but after he worshipped the icon of the Mother of God, the elder of this monastery did not accept him. But apparently his zeal for monasticism prompted him to go to the monastery of Braz in the Vrancha region. There he was received by the elder Demetrius, and after a series of trials, tangent him as a monk under the name of Alipius. He was one of the first monks who, as a monk, received the blessing to go to the holy mountain. When he reached Mount Athos, he found that two of his countrymen, the Iron Monks Niphon and Nectarius, who were ascetics in one of the deserted cells. On their advice, the monk Calipius entered the Greek monastery of Esphirmen, where he worked in a cookery for about four years. For about four years he worked in a cookery. And after he had passed through many difficulties with the God's help, the fathers Nifan and Nectarius decided to tonge him in the great schema, giving him the name Antipas. Until 1852, he was alone, enriching and adorning himself with the performance of virtue, and not without numerous temptations. Dar nu fără multe ispite. A fost lipsit de cele necesare când a fost în pustie. He was deprived of everything he needed in the desert. And then we learned more about the trials that he went through, and which he became with God's help. Sfântul Antipa urmă sfatul lui 
shkje mëri për inësër nifën shë nektarje. Se in tanë të pas followed the call of the fathers nifën and nektarius to help in the construction and strengthening of this holy hermitage. Dhe në të rira ukshë që rëmasë e formeze e në ashtë të dëmnezjes lokash. The skate prodromos continued to be built. The number of Moldavian and Wallachian brethren multiplied. And in all this, Iramon Kantipas invested much labor, while also being a steward, seller, and confessor of the skate brethren. But now for Father Antipas, the time has come to part with the place of his many years of work and prayers, the Holy Mount Athos. And Father Nifon sends him first to Moldavia, to the Yasimid Ocean, and then to Moscow. A fost cunoscut de bine crinișori și moscoviți de... He became acquainted with the Moscow believers, with the Iraqs, and from the very beginning was appreciated for his faith, for his zeal, for those great ascetic labors to which he condemned himself and which he could not hide. N-a putut să le ascundă. Așa că mulți crinișori... Many believers came to him, pinning their hopes on his prayers. They brought donations which Antipas passed to the Sket Prodromos on the Holy Mount. As soon as he completed the collection of donations, with the blessing of his elders, on November 6, 1865, Father Antipas arrived in Valaam and settled in a small secluded cell in the Sket of All Saints. He has been a lot of these places, this monastery is calm. He loved this place, this quiet and remote monastery, because he loved solitude and silence. Very often in many of his letters he repeated that he would very much like to return to the holy mountain in the Sket Prodromos. But I know the will of God. And also that other fathers assured him that it was God's will that he should go to Russia. It was here, on Valaam, that he found what he had longed for all his life, an unbroken solitude and silence, illuminated by his incessant prayer. Here, in the main temple of the Sket, the relics of many saints are kept. They protect the monastery and spiritually support the monks in their tireless prayer. Here is a part of the holy relics located in the Romanian Sket Prodromos. The first shrine contains part of the relics of Saint John the Baptist, Saint John Guradaur, Saint Gregory Theologulus, Saint Caralambius, Saint Modest, Cosmos and Damian, Saint Trifon the Mata, Saint Matthew the Evangelist the Apostle, Archdeacon Stephen, the great Mata Barbara and the relics of other unknown saints, Saint Nile of Athos, Saint Modest, Saint Caralambius the Mata, several holy martyrs from the Iversky Monastery, the Venerable Ignatius, Eftimius and Dacasius, the holy great Mata Trifon and the holy great Mata George. Since ancient times, the Danube principalities of Wallachia and Moldova provided material and spiritual support to the Athos monasteries. Until the 19th century, the Romanian monks did not have a place on the holy mountain where they could worship in their native language. The foundation of the Sket Prodromos became an important event both for the monastery's brethren and for its numerous pilgrims. Today, the Sket Prodromos is one of the most important spiritual centers on the Holy Mount Tathas. Orthodox Christians from many countries come here with great joy to worship the shrines stored here and to pray together with the brethren of the Sket. <laughs>